Give me all the lipsticks, give me all the eyeshadow palettes, but give me more than five foundations and I start sweating. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty videos. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And if you're already subscribed, ring that bell so you don't miss out on any videos. And without further ado, let's get into it. Exciting this time, we have got a haul. Lou has been shopping, Lou's doing what she does best. No, seriously though, shopping is one of my hobbies and skills. <laughs> so I've been on in some sorts like a low buy because of how much I bought last year and especially Christmas time, I just kind of went a bit crazy. So I said, so I need to give myself some time to use those things and also just to recover a bit. But um, I've kind of off my low buy. Sephora Australia had a sale and they gave us 20, 20% 20 I think it was. Yes, yeah, so with the Sephora sale, so I bought some goodies. Enough rambling for me, let's see all the goodies I got. So I've got a decent sized Sephora box here. First up, we have a Lux product, if you wish. This is something from Pat McGrath. Now Pat McGrath is finally in Australia. She, she used her website, Ships Australia Standard, but her brand is actually carried in Sephora now. I got the Pat McGrath mascara. Now I'm not taking it out of the box because, out of the packaging, because I am going to be doing a review on this mascara. It's not cheap, it's about $45 I think it was before the discount. So I'm gonna be testing this out, super excited. Now if you know Mother Pat, Mother Pat, he does this with like really cool packaging. I don't, there's no sequins in this one, but it's like hollow, it's like holographic. I don't know if you guys can see that. So look out for the review coming. So it's the, it's her fetish eyes mascara and it only comes in one shade at the moment, extreme black, which leads me to believe that she might be coming out with some more shades, but that was numero uno. So next I got some brushes from none other than Miss Natasha Denona herself. First one is brush number 12. If you follow her on Instagram, which I would say proceed with caution because you're probably gonna buy everything once you see it, but honestly, it's so soft, so soft, it's gorgeous. So this is number 12, it's the large, smudger eyeshadow brush basically so you can smudge shadow you can blend you can pack on when i watch her with the tutorials i really love the way she does her toots and when she does it she always tells you what brush she's using for each step and as i've been watching it sometimes i take note of the brushes she uses and the ones that i'd written down that i kept seeing pop up often that i really liked were these two and there's a third one that i didn't get because the board didn't have it on the website but brush number 12 it is so soft they say large, I mean, it is quite big, but it's not heavy at all. I would use this for packing on shadow, smudging out liner, um, like more of an unrefined look. And also she uses it when she's blending like in the crease or doing like halo eyes with matte shadows. And then the other brush I got is the brush number four. And this is super mini in comparison to the other brush I just showed you. Really, really tiny. She's used this for detail work and when she does her liner. This is the mini eyeshadow brush. So it's gonna be fantastic for doing liner with eyeshadow um, for getting into your like your lash line, lower lash line. This one, the Wayne Goss, my tight line brush. These are all brushes I love using because they're so small and you can do detail work. And I will be adding them to my arsenal. I'm trying to make my brush collection stuff that I reach for and use often that are high quality now. And um, when the other day when I was washing all my makeup brushes, I was drowning in them guys. I find that I need to refine it. Like I've got four pots of brushes, you know? I just think it's a lot. Eventually I want it to get to a stage where I have one pot for like my eye brushes and one pot for my face brushes and I just want them to be nice brushes that I use all the time, you know? On her website, I can't see what they're made out of. It just says they're all made from natural and synthetic fibers. It doesn't say which one, but regardless, this is so soft. It wasn't really expensive. This one was $29. Next is a, is a product that is quite new, quite a new release, but when I saw this, 100% wanted it, put it on my list. I said, when it comes to a retailer in Oz, I will get it. It's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Dip Brow Gel. I have run out of a brow gel and because it wasn't really an essential, like I've got my brow product, I was like, when you are off your no buy or your low buy, you can buy it. So I've treated myself to it. I got the shade Ebony. I love brow gel and I also love tinted brow gels, especially when in the mornings or whatever, whenever I'm going to work, I just run out the door and quickly comb through the brow products. I don't have to sit there and do hair strokes. So when they launched this and I saw it, I was like, I need that in my life. Now, Anastasia is now stocked at Mecca. That's what that's what it looks like on the back of my hand. Brush is nice and small, comes to a point. And the rest of my haul is all complexion products. 
I was doing pretty good with complexion and then everyone started bringing out new things and then I've just been buying. This one isn't so much a new new release. Got the Fenty Beauty Concealer. This is 390 and um, when I went, I did swatch quite a few. I realized it, I like the way they've done the shades. You can actually use quite a few. So I realized 390 was going to be a good fit for me. Comes with a nice wand. It smells a bit funky. The fact that because she's done each shade to match the foundation shade, you can actually get away with using multiple. So I really appreciate that. There's so many more options, especially for people further down the spectrum of shades and further up, really further up the shades as well. Super excited to try this finally. And I thought that she was going to release the, cause she released the bronzers and everything like that the same day the the sale was on. And I thought, oh, will Sephora drop it the sale or will they drop it after? And I was like, they won't drop it the day of the sale. So they dropped it after the sale finished. So I'll probably do another order and get the bronzer and the powders. Cause I don't want the big one, I want the mini. I still have, a full size Too Faced powder and I kind of want to make a dent in that before I put another powder in my collection. So with my complexion products, I don't like having too many because then I get overwhelmed. Give me all the lipsticks, give me all the eyeshadow palettes, but give me more than five foundations and I start sweating. <laughs> then talking about foundation, I've got the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is not a new foundation by any means. It's been around for a while, but they did do shade extensions and Australia's finally got the shade. So I'm in the shade 6W1, which is sandalwood. So six warm one. Um, 30 mil standard is annoying that it doesn't come with a pump in this day and age all foundations should come with a pump but you can buy it i think it's like 10 i think it's 10 bucks separate so i'll just buy the pump but looks like this this foundation is amazing now it's not a review but i have when i did go on my trip to melbs and i when i did go on my trip to melbourne and i i brought like sample pot oh god it's a whole other ordeal like sephora why do you always run out of sample pots here my own got samples of the foundation used it and I was like, what is this magic? Your skin looks amazing, seriously. Like it's full coverage foundation, but it's not like heavy full coverage. Like it feels amazing. So it's gorgeous. Can't wait to be using this. Might do a full face of first impressions and chuck this in there and use it, but really excited for this one. And this one was, it's not cheap. I think it was, was it $60 or just shy of $60? So I was like, this kind of stuff is good stuff to get on sale. Okay, another complexion product. I got the Beauty Blender Foundation, the Bounce Foundation, comes in this cool box and my shade was 4.35 W, which is the shade extension. Now I am wanting to do either a review or first impressions on this, so we'll save some of, some of our chat for there. But um, long story short, this shade is one of the extensions that they brought out. So I'm glad that I finally have a shade now and that I can actually use this foundation because the concept is pretty genius, but it looks like this. So on one side, you've got the um, opaque glass packaging. You've got a little knob that you can switch on and off so that the pump is on, which is fantastic. Gonna be great for traveling as well. And it's 30 mil stock standard size. I think what the hero is, is the fact that you have a little nozzle pump, but you also have a palette to put the foundation on. And it's in the shape of a little beauty blender. So you can actually put your beauty blender in there. So you've got a little palette. You don't need to worry about having your own separate palette. You don't need to put it on the back of your hand. You just, boom, take it from there, apply it to your face. So that's good. Again, this was $60 as well. So I got it on sale, which I'm so happy about. And yeah, my shade's 4.35. So stay tuned for that. Looks like that's it for the box. So that is the end of my Sephora haul. That's everything guys. I know, so tame, right? So tame for me. I usually go a bit crazy, but I had a list, I reined it in. <laughs> Comment below, have you tried any of the stuff I've picked up? I'd love to hear your thoughts and continue the discussion in the comment section below. If you haven't already, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And if you're already subscribed, ring that bell so you don't miss out on any videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps with deciding content for you guys. And I can't wait to see you back here again. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty and my... <laughs> so I got the... I'm filming. Okay, so this is the brush number 12 from... Brush. Okay, so pat my back. No, I'm filming. I can't get stopped now. So, I was... comment below. Did you pick? Did you have your eye on? Ugh. If this is just. <laughs> come on, girl. Come on.